It's time to start the show. With our postcoidal glow. But first we gotta finish. Hey, give me a minute. We play things fast and loose. Give us that party juice. Married in real life. Perverted husband and wife. Inebriated spunk. Even our pets are drunk. Ooh, give me a wacky. It's time to some cat. Nips, lips, hips, slits, bits, ooh, dips. <laughs> I'm Diana. I'm Murph. And, and this, this is our Menage a Trois. Hey, we see you peering through those shades. Ooh, lover. Remind me to take a dip in your pond later. The water is looking fine. <laughs> well, that was a sexy sting. Hot damn, Khaki King. We couldn't ask for a saucier one-woman house band. Well, you didn't ask. I'm your unwilling rock star concubine. <laughs> <sighs> what I want to know is how you two perverts figured out that huffing nitrous while mixing glitter with Melissa Etheridge's vaginal fluid was the recipe to summon me whenever you desire. Dumb luck, I guess. Just another Tuesday night orgy. Group sex with these deviants? No, thank you. But what do we know? We're just the peanut gallery. You mean the penis gallery? <laughs> <laughs> mm, man, alive, am I parched. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> mm. Ugh, my cooter's still burning from that warming lube we test drove last night. Ooh, first and last time we use that rotten stuff. I thought my goddamn dick was on fire. I mean, you need regular lube on hand for the occasional drought, but if you need it to provide warmth, you may be fucking a corpse. Well, necrophilia is a victimless crime. Hello, lover. You've reached the Sexpert hotline. Please hold. Listen, we recently got hit with a pretty hefty fine for a lascivious behavior in a public place. So we set up this helpline just as a side racket to help us cover our legal costs. How can we help you with your hearts and parts? Hey, this is Kyle. I've been single forever, and I finally met a hot girl at a party. Off to a juicy start. Yeah, well, I just found out that her mom is married to my uncle, which I think makes us first cousins. Is there any way to make this not creepy? Creepy? Hell, I'd lay down with half my cousins. It's a good-looking bunch. Just don't have any kids. Or do, and be ready to snip some tails. You know, whatever goes on between consenting adults is A-OK -okay in my book. Page 17. No. Ew. We're not related by blood. I'm just worried my parents will freak out. It's a lot to explain, like, how'd you guys meet? Mm. Oh, at a family reunion? Yeah, mm, yeah, tell me about It's it. just mm. not socially acceptable. I'd have to lie to people, say we met online or something. Mm. Lover, mm. we meet again in our wet dream. Yes, it's about damn time. Mm. Whoa! Get a load of this. We got Naomi Ekperrigan in the sack with us. Hey, lovers. Hey. hey. So how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. I don't normally wake up in bed with two Caucasians, but mm. I'm willing to work with this five. Thank you for being open-minded. I try to be, you know, I did go to a liberal arts college. Is that where you had your sexual awakening? Oh, definitely. You know, in high school, they weren't having it. Mm. You know, and then you get to college and everyone wants everything. Yep. And I was like, well, hello, <laughs> you know, real good, real good. That's where I lost my V-card. Prestigious V-card, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sexiest animal? Sexiest animal? Hmm, it's very tricky. I think I want to say giraffe. Is that weird? No. No, no, no that long neck. Who could... Like lean, long, lithe. Either. You know, um, the three L's. The three L's of lovemaking. Yes. You know, Lean Lean. long life. <laughs> That's how you do it. What's the single most important characteristic you look for in a partner? You know what? I like a goof. I want you to care about things, but not take yourself too seriously. Mm -hmm. Life is hard. If you can't laugh, you're right. just going through the motions. Yes. Exactly. Right. Especially when you're getting handsy as well. It's like, let's not take that too mm. seriously. Ooh. That's when things you know, clam up, you know? Yeah, you know? no, I'm a sex goof. 
Hey, Naomi, 69 or 420? I'm not a 420 person, not gonna lie to you. Mm. However, however, 69 is a lot of work. If you're doing your job properly, I can't concentrate on my job. Right. That's the truth. Somebody yes. suffers. Somebody suffers. What do you think is the most erotic sandwich? I'm gonna say Reuben. I'm gonna tell you why. Thousand Island dress. So many islands. Think about, think about how tactile that sandwich is. You got the sauerkraut, mm. you got the meats, you mm. got the dress, mm. okay? That's a full-time job, right there. Yes, it but is. But a good one. A good a one. Good, a You're, job with benefits. Yes, you know? and you like your coworkers. You'll go out for a drink Ooh, after, after work with yes. them. Yes! Oh. Come on, Ruben. Oh, you have to. Ruben! <laughs> <laughs> now that we got the business out of the way, what do you say we get down to pleasure? Okay, real quick, though. Can I get gonorrhea from a dream? Ooh, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy Christmas! <laughs> this nocturnal emission is the best advice these freaks have ever given. Worth an arm and a leg. You mean a shaft and a tip? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, take care, fella. All right, time to wrap things up, kiddos, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, what a romp we had. Another delectable show under our garter belt. Whether you're a kissing cousin or just some schlub who burned his dick on devil loom, dream big and dream wet. And a very special thanks to our sexy third for the evening, Naomi Ekparagin. Take us to the fuck house, khaki! <laughs> Good